What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a sneak peek video part three for our A3 ATC swap group for the June swap. So if you are new to my channel and unfamiliar with what I am talking about, my name is Amy and I host a international artist trading card swap group called the A3 ATC swap group. A3 is just short for Amy's Art Alchemy. It just kind of makes it easy to remember. It is a international artist trading card swap group that takes place every other month. Uh, we currently have over 500 artists from all over the world that take part in our group. And I do have a few more spots available. If you are looking for a ATC swap group to join. You are more than welcome to get more information about it. In my description box below, I will leave my Instagram as well as a introduction video to our A3 ATC swap group. And to request more information, all you need to do is send me a private message on Instagram letting me know what country you are from and I can give you all the details. So in today's video, what I like to do is I like to share sneak peek videos of the ATCs that I will be swapping before the swap takes place just because I like to feature those artists and show all of the amazing cards before the swap actually takes place. So if you are new to my channel and this is the type of thing you are interested in seeing, several different artist styles as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials, then I would love to have you subscribe. So I am gonna go ahead and get started with sneak peek video part three. So on this first one, I wanted to start off by talking about the envelopes. First off, this gorgeous Frida Kalu themed mail is from my dear friend Crafty Peakies from Finland. She is an amazing artist and she has been with our group for quite a while now. And I want to start off by saying that you guys do not have to send decorated envelopes. I have said this before, but I really just want you guys to know that um, it is perfectly okay if you don't. Um, but I also wanted to show you the gorgeous envelopes that come to me. So this is just one of them. And what I do with these envelopes, I want you to know that the time you take in decorating the envelope, whether you decorate it or you leave it blank, does not go to waste because what I do with these lovely pieces of art, first of all, I love all the postage stamps. I love everything about the envelopes. So even if they're blank, what I do is I save those envelopes and I am creating myself a journal. It's called A3 Friends Across the World. And it is a documentation of the friendships in our group. So each artist in our group is dedicated one page in my journal and what I use on that page is the envelopes and things that the artist sent to me. So that is what the page is constructed of with the base of the page being cereal boxes. I love to repurpose my my items and so I like to repurpose cereal boxes. Um, I will be creating more of these videos on camera showing that Friends Across the World journal because I have several people interested. So if um, that is something you would like to see, let me know. I plan on working on that again soon. I do have one video up in that series, but I'm planning on working on that very soon because my stack is getting pretty full and I'm really excited to work on that journal. So that journal consists of the envelopes and things that you send me. Um, I create little pockets and things out of them. Um, I tuck in prayer requests or our conversations back and forth. And basically it's just a way that I can document our friendship and uh, all the amazing friendships that I have um, cherished in our A3 ATC swap group. So it's just a side personal project for me, um, but I want you to know that the, the beautiful envelopes and things that you send me 
they don't go to waste. I, I cherish every single bit, um, whether it is fully decorated or whether it is completely white. So I just wanted to start off with this one just because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I, I have this one up here because I am trying to cover up her address because even when I do film these, I do like to keep your privacy so I do not show um, addresses. So anytime I record anything for that journal, I will have your address covered up with washi tape. Rest assured, I keep that private. As well as any special prayer request, any things like that, all you will see is the pocket. You won't see the actual conversations that we have had back and forth. So I want you guys to know that. Also, while I am on the topic of this, when I first started this project of the journal that I'm making, um, I asked people if they wouldn't mind sending in a picture. And it could just be done on Instagram Messenger. And basically what I would like to do is just have a really small picture, literally just like two by two square. I mean, you just send a regular picture and then I will make it really small. And I like to have your face with that page. I just think it makes it super personable. Um, if I do not have your permission to show that picture on camera, then I promise you I will not. If you do give me permission to show that picture on camera, then I will create your page live and record the process. So that is all I wanted to say about that. I just wanted you to know that um, if, if you wouldn't mind sending me a small picture, if you don't mind, to go along with that page and to let you know that I do save all the envelopes and all the little things that you guys send to me. So without any more talking, I need to go ahead and start sneak peek part three. These gorgeous cards along with this one, I just, it's just blocking the address, come from my dairy, very dear friend, I can't talk, Pira Lisa Komu from Finland. She is an artist from Finland and um, you can follow her on Instagram at Crafty Peaky, so P-I-K-K-I-S. She is an amazing artist. Like I said, she's been a member of our group for a long time now, and I absolutely have cherished our friendship and love her art. So I love the way that she went with this Frida theme. And she also sent me a little note, which is blocking my address down here, because I like to keep my address private as well. And on that note, she was telling me how she made these artist trading cards. And what she did was she used the um, bleeding tissue paper technique, which I have yet to do that technique. I have wanted to do that for so long. And now that I see what gorgeous, vibrant colors she was able to achieve just from the bleeding tissue paper, I am definitely more inspired to go and do that. So I would love for you to let me know, Crafty Peakies, if it was a certain brand of tissue paper or if it just actually says um, bleeding tissue paper because I do know not all tissue paper bleeds. The colors don't bleed and I'm sure that each brand bleeds differently, but you achieve such vibrant colors in these. I was just super amazed at them. So aside from all of the gorgeous colors and the amazing technique that she used, let's talk about how beautiful this is. So we got the really pretty bright colors. She also did some stamping on it and she used this gorgeous Frida stamp, which I love. And then she also used a quote from Frida that says, I paint my own reality. I love these so much. Um, I'm curious, is this the um, Viva Las Vegas stamp? Um, I want to say it is, but I don't remember it having Frida. And I don't remember it. I mean, I don't remember it saying that on her is what I'm trying to say. And I don't remember one saying uh, the quote. So I'm very curious to know that if you could leave that in the comment as well. But these are just absolutely beautiful cards. Um, it looks like she also did some embossing in white embossing ink down here at the bottom. Uh, we've got different stamps. Uh, we've got some art marks here on the side. Uh, she did a light uh, border all around it in black. She inked around it and it just really makes each one of them pop. So they are just 
absolutely gorgeous. So this one is, let me see if I can swap this out without showing her address. Um, here's this one. So it's got a little bit different background, different stamps, and you can see that embossing is just gorgeous. So here's the rest of them. They are beautiful. I love all the stamps that you use. Of course, we all as artists love Frida. Um, and these, these are just gorgeous. And I love the, I paint my own reality quote. I like how you did this one in the center of the circle. These are super amazing, friend. I love them so much. Again, these are from Piro Lisa Komu from Finland. And you can find her on Instagram at Crafty Peakies. So I am just going to slide this aside and start with the next one. And for the next one, I just also wanted to give you a quick glimpse of this envelope as well, um, just because it was also just it was also just gorgeous. And then I won't bother showing y'all any more of the envelopes. I just think they are amazing. So I love it. I love, like I said, even if they are plain white, I love the postage stamps on there and the postmarks and seeing how far they traveled because our group consists of artists literally from 30, I think we're up to 30, um, 37 different countries. I can't remember. I, th I believe it's 37 countries. So many countries. And so it's nice to just see where the piece of mail has traveled from. But this gorgeous mail is from the very talented Inge Tinge, Tanja, sorry. And you can find her on Instagram at Stampinky. Uh, she is an artist from the Netherlands. She is an amazing artist. She has everything on here. These are titled Life Blooms. Um, she's got her Instagram name. She's also got our hashtag. And while I see that, I also would like to mention, thank you so much for remembering to include our hashtag, just because um, I've noticed there are more and more swap groups out there. And it's nice to know where the card came from. So thank you so much for including that. She also has her email on there. Very, very talented artist. And also for the new members that are that have recently joined, and this is your first sneak peek series, I also wanted to point out that some of these I am showing six cards, just like the Frida set. Now, when I sign you on as a member, you will notice that it says only five ATCs are required. I want you to know that only five is required because you receive five back from five different artists each time. But several of the artists, a lot of the international artists and a lot of the U.S. artists, like to create a sixth one for me um, just as a hostess gift to keep. Now, I'm just explaining that simply because I don't want you confused of me showing six cards. Um, just because I am mentioning that does not mean I expect you to turn around and send me six cards. I'm just trying to explain that. So I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the artists that do that. Send me little notes. Um, I just want you to know I cherish them all. I save them all. It'll be used in that album. Uh, I, I don't need thank you notes. I don't need anything extra, but all the little notes, man, they sure do make my day. And so I just wanted to take this time and say thank you. So on the back of this, and while I am mentioning this, um, she also has a note on the back of this, but I'm not going to turn it because my address is under there and I like to keep my address private as well. Sometimes people forget that I like to keep my address private, but I do like to keep that private and only um, for group members. So anyway, she created me this beautiful tag. So this will go on her page as well as the note on the back. And then I wanted to show you her amazing artist trading cards. So uh, let's see, I already read the back to you. These are titled Life Blooms. And each one has its own number, one through six. Um, if you have followed me for a while, you guys know I love numbers. I love combining letters with numbers, which is another reason 
hence my logo A3. Not only does A3 make it short and easy for Amy's Art Alchemy, it makes it a creative hashtag. I just love combining letters and numbers together. So I love when I see um, numbers on there. And I just think these big numbers that Inge used are just beautiful. I love the distress look of them. Uh, the black with the white, and then take a look at the background of these ATCs. So, first of all, the background of these are just gorgeous. We got a mix of different papers, different stamps, um, a lot of different color in there. Um, love with all your heart is the quote on this. I love, like I said, if you follow me, you know, I love my florals and botanicals, my postage stamps. There's several things that I just love and um, that just make me happy. Another one of those that I say all the time is you can never go wrong with adding stitching around your cards. I just think it is su such a nice extra texture that you can add to the cards and gives a nice finishing touch. And that is exactly what she did on these. So beautiful cards, beautiful cards by Inge uh, Tanja from the Netherlands, and you can find her at Stampinky. Again, these are titled Life Blooms. So that one says, love with all your heart. This one says, choose to shine. Uh, again, you can see some music note paper in the background. We've got different florals. We got some different colors going on. This one, Love With All Your Heart, and it's got the big three, which I love. Um, these are just gorgeous. This one has some more yellows in the background. I love the purple flowers. That looks really pretty against the yellow contrast. And in the background, we've got some yellow and purple mix, which just makes these absolutely beautiful. I love the color contrast on these. This one, uh, the tape is actually just on the ATC, I mean, on the the sleeve. This one says, let life surprise you. So pretty. And I didn't point out, but on each number, you probably noticed it. It also has this little pearl. These are just so pretty. I love the numbers, the book text, the music, note paper, of course, the stitching. And then these do have a little bit of dimension. Now, I say it uh, whenever I sign you on. It is very important not to add really big beads or any thick embellishments because the ATCs must be able to be smushed flat. And the reason that is when you get five artist trading cards in a business envelope, sometimes it can get quite heavy and it will go up the price of postage tremendously if it goes over a certain thickness and then it becomes a package instead of a letter. So I ask that, um, that it be able to be squished flat, which is exactly what she did here. So we do have the dimension, but this can be uh, squished. It doesn't have um, any big wooden beads or anything like that that's keeping that from happening. So I wanted to point that out as well. This one also says, let life surprise you. It's got the really pretty lavender in there. Um, it's got my favorite rose gold pink color in the background with the purple. And this one says, lucky is a state of mind. These are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, these are from Stampinky from the Netherlands. I've talked so much and we've only gone through two cards. So we may not get through as many cards as what I was planning, or this may end up just being a longer video. <laughs> But I just love pointing out all the little details. I, you guys put so much time into them, it's important for me to be able to point them out. So this next set of cards comes from Denise Newton. Denise is an artist out of Texas. Uh, you can find her on Instagram at denise.newton. Um, she also has our hashtag there. These are just beautiful cards. Now, how she sends hers is she likes to send them in these sleeves. And then what I do is send her ATCs back in the sleeves. That way they stay nice and protected. These cards are all pretty much made the same. So I'm just going to kind of focus on one and then I will highlight each and every um, saying on them. So the background of these, we have some really pretty scrapbook paper. It's got gorgeous pinks. And then we have this um, 
really pretty die cut. It's got like the lace style edges around it and they are in orange, yellow, and pink. Um, I love the washi tape strip that she used, this black and white diamond. It really gives a nice contrast um, against these colors along with this gorgeous black embroidered flower. I just think this black and white against these colors just really make it pop. And then another way that she made it pop is the, the sentiments that she used around them. She also did a little black outline around them just to make that stand out. So we have some um, text and it looks like we've got some stamps, some jelly prints on this paper. Um, absolutely beautiful. And then another one of my favorite things is the loose stitching that she left on there. I, like I've said, I love stitching. I love textiles. And I just think these are absolutely beautiful, Denise. So this one says, just breathe, own your dreams, do your best, never give up stay strong and be brave. So these are gorgeous, Denise. I have no idea um, which one I am going to choose right now with the time in my life and everything going on. Um, I feel like the one that says stay strong speaks to me the most. Um, so thank you so much for creating an extra one for me. This next set of cards comes from California. These come from Sarah Gardner. Um, like I said, she is an artist out of California and you can find her on Instagram at Juicy S Art. I just love that name. I just think it's so cute. And she also has her um, email on there as well. She is an artist out of California. Uh, she also has our group name on there. So thank you so much, Sarah, for that. And I have talked about her murals for a while now. And you guys need to check it out. The 100 Day Project, what she did for her 100 days was made a 100 paper moguls. Like seriously, the girl's amazing. And it had different song lyrics. Um, I don't know if she's still doing the giveaway, if the giveaway's closed. It was amazing. They, the moguls are just so, so beautiful. But what she did is she saved all the beautiful, excuse me, all the beautiful pieces from the mobiles and has been creating art with it since. So I believe it has been the last two swaps. Um, I know for sure the last swap, she has used different scraps from her 100 day project to create her ATCs. So I just love that. So these, we've got the different circles of all the bright colored jelly prints. I love the neon pink thread stitching that she did on it. All the gorgeous jelly prints are just, man, they are just beautiful. So she did three with the turquoise background and three with the yellow background. And these, like I said, you guys go to, even though the 100 day project is over, go check her out. Juicy S Art and just go look at those paper mobiles. They are like amazing. And the fact that she made a hundred of them, I am, I am super impressed. Like she just blows me away. Super, super impressed by that. So Sarah Gardner at Juicy S Art from California. This next set of cards comes from Kansas. These come from Luann Lahone, and she is, um, you can find her on Instagram at Luann underscore Pepperwood. And I want to show y'all this, like I'm gonna show you this one first. Okay, she has been making ATCs for a while now. This was her 800th card that she's ever made. So 800th card. So she said she wanted her 800th card to be special. So this one is designed for, uh, designed specially for me, Luann Pepperwood uh, from Kansas. This is number 800. You guys look. Oh my goodness. I seriously just fell in love with this. This is just amazing. Several uh, the past couple of her um, entries, the past couple months, she has done these beautiful embroideries, needlework, um, slow stitching type ATCs. And I just think they are gorgeous. And I love so much when you guys make it personal and put the little A3 ATC swap group or something like that. It just, or puts A3, whether it's on the envelope, whether I see the envelope with it, 
it just reminds me of how this group has came about and how we have grown. We have reached over 500 artists and it's just so special to me. And Luann, for you to make this for me, I will cherish it forever. It also makes me think of the um, ATC that um, Nicole Martin at NC Martin 11 made for me. She made a little envelope ATC uh, with my name on it. And then it also makes me think of Georgia Peach 72, Angela Cohn um, from Georgia. She made me a Christmas ornament that is a little envelope and it had the um, had my name and stuff on there. You guys, I just want you to know, super special. I don't expect things like this, but I want you to know how happy it made me, Luann. This was just so very special of you. So there was that one. Now I can go ahead and move along to the next. I am talking so much on this sneak peek. So sorry if you guys want to speed along or, you know, mute me and just look at the cards. I completely understand, uh, but you are missing out because these are gorgeous. <laughs> so again, this one is chain stitch. So she put uh, the type of stitch she did. This one is butterfly and flower. This is original design by her. Uh, Luann Pepperwood, and then she has all of her information on here from Kansas. So isn't that awesome? So she did this little heart flower with the butterfly chain stitch. Um, these do have some dimension, but obviously they can be squish flat. So these are just perfect. This one is a mixed stitch tulip. That's kind of a tongue twister. And she said, I like this design. I'll be making others. And I loved this design too. Like seriously love it. I love how it has the different layers. So we've got the bright yellow, we've got this cream color, and then this denim color with the really pretty flower. So amazing. And then look at this little guy. Is he not the cutest? This one, um, let's see, this ATC was stitched on wool felt. The backing card is attached with Velcro. If you remove the backing often, the wool will be the wool will be weakened. So basically it's best just to keep that backing on there. So beautiful, beautiful cards. Uh, this one says this ATC was stitched on wool felt, the same thing. So original needlework designs. I love the flowers. I love the edges of this one. I mean, this is just gorgeous. This one says it was adapted from design by Patrice. Um, I'm not sure how to say her last name but I have problems following a chart. So any errors are mine, which I just love that because that's what makes it unique. It makes it special from you. And honestly, I don't see any errors. I think this is gorgeous. It's way better than anything I would ever do. So beautiful cards by Luann Pepperwood from Kansas. You guys go give her a follow and thank you again so much for this, Luann. That was just super special to open up and see that. This next set of cards comes from Florida. These come from Barbara Grieve, and you can find her on Instagram at Barb Grieve. You guys, she is just so talented. I am still just in awe of her April cards where she took apart the pieces of a uh, computer and made, uh, made like the faces and hair with them, the eyes. Man, they are just amazing. So I just love her art, love her style. Uh, beautiful cards. So this one, let's see, all of her information is on there. Barb Grieve from Florida. She also put our hashtag, so thank you so much. These are super, super sturdy. I'm not trying to bend it, but I'm just letting you know they are sturdy. It does have this, um, this little B on there, but it is not too thick. I mean, it's it's really not too thick. If it was a whole lot thicker, then I would probably have problems shipping it, but it's actually not too thick. It's beautiful. Um, I think it'll be just fine. So the back of these, we've got the insect paper. Uh, I mean, so much. We've got some gold paint in there. I love the sparkly blue. I love these letters that you added on there. Um, I love how you just colored these. Just absolutely gorgeous. And again, these are made so sturdy. So this one has more of a rose gold to it. Um, we've got some different glitter on there. This one's, uh, I think, I believe that's a 7N and a U. So we just got just different 
um, different letters and stuff on there just to give just the extra dimension, which I love. Um, it looks like we've got some um, maybe tissue paper or napkin on there. Maybe it's washi tape. Uh, you'll, you'll have to let me know, Barbara. I love hearing from you guys in the comments um, what you guys use for these. So for your cards, I just love seeing that. So this one also, I believe that is um, some washi tape. We've got some stamps. She did some little art marks, some little hash marks on there, which I love all the little different details. We've got some uh, floral paper in the background as well. This one has um, like a little beetle on there. Um, it's a really pretty sparkly turquoise. Now that one is a little bit thicker, but I, I still think that one will be, let me see. Yeah, I still think that one will be okay. So uh, sparkly glitter. Um, it's got the really, really pretty blue. You guys know how much I love this turquoise color. This one also, I don't really know my insects very well. <laughs> I'm just gonna call all of them that don't have wings beetles because <laughs> honestly I don't know <laughs> so this this little one on there um again I love all the different numbers and letters and patterns in the background we've got some insect paper in the background as well I love the sparkly glitter that she used and then what she did was she also added that behind these so I believe these are those um Tim Holtz um I forget what he calls them, but they're the clear Tim Hiltz tiles. I think it's what he calls them. I think he calls them tiles. I may be wrong, but they're clear. And then what she did was she just added the glitter behind there, which I think is a nice touch. I'm trying to see how thick that one is. I think that one's okay too. So this one is that sparkly um, magenta fuchsia color, which I love that color too. So very, very well sturdy made cards by Barb Grieve from Florida. This next set of cards comes from a very sweet friend of mine, Jennifer Abney. She is an artist from Georgia. Um, you can find her on Instagram at Jennifer S. Abney. There we go, right there. She also included our hashtag. She is an artist from Georgia. These are made with a print block with watercolor. And now that I am thinking of it, I meant to get out the card she made. This, uh, oh, I forgot what this <laughs> creature is called. A manatee. Is that right? Manatee. I'm acting like you guys can answer me. I probably sound stupid if I'm making up a word, but yes, manatee. I know that's what it is. Anyway, she did this original lino cut block of this manatee. Is that not amazing? Look at all the details of this. And then the background is watercolor. Just gorgeous. Look at this pretty watercolor in the background. All the, the detail in, in the lino cut is just amazing. So, so beautiful. And actually, today, speaking of Jennifer, today I'm wearing one of the bracelets that she made me. Um, she sent me this bracelet a while back. I believe it was a couple swaps ago. And I just, I happen to be wearing this one today. It matches my, matches my shirt that I'm wearing. So that just worked out great that I'm featuring your cards today, friends. So uh, Jennifer S. Abney, an artist from Georgia. Be sure and give her a follow. Print block with watercolor. Amazing, amazing detail. This next set of cards comes from Michigan. These come from Jen King Art, and she sent these all in these adorable little um, little envelopes. And so I'm just gonna open up one to show you because they are all pretty much the same. First of all, the outside of the envelope, how cute are these little bee, bees on there? So cute. And then she's got this honeycomb, um, print washi tape and it says just for you i just think that is such a special touch i love the little the little uh envelope so i'm just going to open one to show you because I, uh they are all the same so we've got the bee on there we've got the um bee washi tape we've got the honeycomb stencil with texture paste we've got different golds and yellows and then i love that she included the scripture from Proverbs 16, 24. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. I love, love, love that scripture. Beautiful, beautiful cards. 
uh, Jennifer King. She, you can find her on Instagram at Jen King underscore art. And she is an artist out of Michigan. These are made with acrylic paint, light modeling paste, washi tape, and cutouts. So these are the cutouts and washi tape. So beautiful, beautiful bee themed cards. And I, again, this scripture is just amazing. So, and then I think the envelope was a nice touch, Jennifer. So all of those are the same. So I'm just going to open one to show you guys that. This next set of cards comes from Ireland. These come from Danielle and you can find her on Instagram at jellyfish.vintage. She is, like I said, an artist uh, from Dublin, Ireland. I'm trying to see what that says. Oh, the flower, that's what it says. Um, the flower, now I'm trying to remember the flower. The flower women, that's what it is. Um, Jellyfish Vintage on Instagram from Ireland, uh, Miss Danielle. And these are called the Flower Women. I could not remember what it was. I love these. She has some amazing wax seals. I love her wax seals. We've got this really pretty rose, which you guys, the color, my favorite color, that rose gold, peachy pink color that I love so much. So I love the wax seals uh, with the rose in there. This one has... Uh, the stamping and book text, it's got this lady, and this one is titled Daisy with the floral washi. So we have the same thing with just a different lady on there. This one is Lily, Violet, Rose, Iris, and Poppy. Like seriously, how cute are these so these two the little cutouts of the women look like the postage stamps or postcards which i just think are so cool the way that she did those um i love the book text the stamping i love how you named them um i love the wax seal the washi tape so the flower women this is just a super cute series danielle i love these so much and then the colors girl you just knocked it out of the park with the colors love it this next set of cards come from California. These come from Susan Galito, and you can find her at Susan Ann G. She is an artist from California. She's got all of her information on the back. I am super excited. I get to meet her face-to-face -face at the Jean Oliver Art Retreat um, on June 12th. So I'm super excited about that to meet another member of our group. If you guys remember um, last month, I got to meet uh, Tatiana at Eccentric um, in Frisco when I traveled to my doctor's appointment. I had to travel six, seven hours. So it was nice to be able to meet a friend. So I was super excited about that. I'm hoping to eventually meet more and more of you. So I'm really, really excited about meeting Susan. She is an amazing, amazing artist. I love, love her style. Um, here she has some different handmade papers. I have this handmade paper and I keep forgetting to use it, but I love it. It's got the really big circles. I love the botanicals. I just, I love botanicals like this with the black and white. Um, I also love the big ink blotches behind it. I love the uh, little doodles and things that you have around it. I love how you inked around them just to make it stand out. The colors of these are just gorgeous. The botanicals are gorgeous. The way that she puts them all together. I mean, these are just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful cards. We have a lot of the same similar style with our botanicals. I draw these type of botanicals all the time too, which I love. And then I love doing big watercolor ink blotches. So I love these. I love all the little pencil marks and things in the background. Really beautiful cards from Suzanne and G from California. This next set of cards comes from New York. These come from the very talented Al Hollow. She is just super creative with her cards. Her cards are gonna fold out like this. So I just think that is so cool. So she's got her information on the back. These are titled the Vera ATC by Al Hollow. And she used um, the uh, stamp, Vera stamp, Vera by 
and then it has the stamp brand. And she's an artist from New York. So isn't that cute? Look at this little girl. And this one says empowerment. I love the image. I love the butterfly wings behind her. So they are all very much uh, similar. This one says commitment. I love the colors of these. Super creative, super, super creative. This one says splendid. Are these not so cute? So Vera ATC. I don't know that brand. I'm gonna have to look it up now. Opportunity. Look at these um, butterfly wings. That looks so pretty with the green. I love the colors and things that you chose. Look at this one. I love, love, love this magenta with this peacock colors in the background of her wings. So cute. This one is imagination. And then look at this beautiful one. Love the colors of this. This one is determination. So Al Hollow from New York. Love these cards, friend. This next set of cards also comes from Ireland. These come from Marissa Hayes. You can find her on Instagram at mhayes84. She is a crazy talented artist as well. I love her drawings, love, love them. And the way that she did these, these are like a book. Is that not cool? So she's got like the words here, uh, this quote by Henry James, and then we've got the illustration there. So it opens up like a book. This one says, it is art that makes life, makes interest. It is art that makes life, makes interest, makes importance. And I know of no substitute, whatever for the force and beauty of it possesses. <laughs> I totally read that wrong. Let me try that again. It is art that makes life, makes interest, makes importance. And I know of no substitute, whatever for the force and beauty of its process. That makes way more sense <laughs> by Henry James. So look at these illustrations. So good. This one says, art is a staple, like bread or wine or a warm coat in winter. Man's spirit grows hungry for art in the same way his stomach growls for food by Irving Stone. So she's got all of her information on the back. M. Hayes 84 from Ireland. This one is the same one from Henry James. We just got a different illustration. Like, look at that illustration, amazing. This one says, for sheer excitement, you can keep movies, premieres, and roker coasters, an empty white canvas waiting to be filled. That's the thing by Dan Brown, 1928. Look at that illustration on the back. We've got the table, um, the glass, apple, bowl of fruit, books on a bookshelf, like so much detail. This one has that same, um, oh no, that was a different one. Art is a staple of mankind, so urgent, so utterly, so utterly linked with the pulse of feeling that it becomes the singular sign of life when every other aspect of civilization fails by High Water, 1975. And it's got this amazing um, lady with the umbrella drawing on this, uh, on her art easel. That is just awesome. And then this one has a longer quote, which my eyes are not gonna work from this distance. <laughs> uh, let's see. Glory be to God for dappled things, for skies of couple color as brindled low, for rolls moles align. Yeah, I can't, I can't really see from this distance while I'm recording, but it's a beautiful quote. I read it earlier um, when I first got it out, whenever I could hold it closer to my eyes. But these are just amazing, amazing artist trading cards from Marissa Hayes, M. Hayes 84 from Ireland. This next set of cards comes from Iowa. These come from Caroline Kaylear, and you can find her um, on Instagram at caroline.artwork.2020. Um, these are, this one is titled Steampunk, and it's mixed media gel print. Is that not awesome? So we got the Steampunk, design on there we've got the face like is that not cool we've got the little 
uh, I can't think of what they're called, like the gears. Uh, this is embossed on there. So I don't know if you can pick that up in the light. So, so pretty. These are all um, steampunk themed. So each one is just a little bit different. So this one has, um, it has the same type of stamp, just depending on where it's placed on the card. The background of these are just beautiful. This turquoise, I love the red with the turquoise. This one has dominoes as it, which I just thought was super cool. I love the way you did these. Love, love the way you did these. I love how you did the red and the blue. Like these, these are just so cool. These are, um, isn't that not, that is just awesome. The little dominoes. Steampunk mixed media gel print from Caroline Kaylear at caroline.artwork.20. This next set of cards comes from Florida. These come from Cheryl Zeliniak, and you can find her on Instagram at Blue Violets with a Z. Blue V I O L E T Z. She is an artist out of Florida. This one is titled Dream Weaver. She's got all of her information on there. Look at this, you guys. Her illustrations are just amazing. Amazing. This one is titled Squirreling Books, and it's got the little squirrel holding the book. Like, look at this. So, so cute. Am I right? This one is titled Bunny Cup, and it's got this adorable bunny in this teacup. Like, I love, 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 love this one. I love them all. I just think they are all super cute, but I love this little bunny in the teacup. This one is titled Time to Journal. Seriously, like look at the detail of this. So we've got the lines on her shorts. She's sitting on a pillow. We've got um, her computer screen. We've got her journal where she's got um, all the details on the journal. She's got her tea there, her cup. We've got some paint brushes. I mean, so much detail in these. We've got her, uh, I, mean, I mean, so much detail on these. I love all the detail that you put into your work. It does not go unnoticed. I seriously stare at these so long whenever they come in. And this one is titled Master Gardener, which I, oh my goodness, I love this one too because I just, I love florals and I love the the lady illustration that you have on there, her little dress. I, I love how you designed her dress with the little collar and showing part of her uh, shoulder peeking through the plants climbing from the pot up above and from the bottom. So, so much detail in these, Cheryl. I love them so much. And also, um, thank you for the sweet letter you wrote me. That, that just, that meant the world to me. I love your cards. I, yeah, I, I definitely, I get to keep five as well because I enter five into the swap. So it's so hard always choosing, but um, I definitely think I'm going to be choosing one of yours. So thank you so much for being a member of our group. And I am just going to do one more because this one is a super long sneak peek video. Uh, but I already had this one out to show. And this is from my sweet friend that I got to meet in person, Tatiana uh, from Texas. And you can find her at Eccentric. And she put on here the material she used for these. She used upcycled box, distress oxide, acrylic paint, washi tape, vellum and embellishments which that's super helpful knowing uh she's got all of her information on the back as well as our hashtag um yeah everything is on here she is you guys she is just an amazing person not only amazing artist we just hit it off such such a sweet friend she's also sent me some happy mail you guys probably saw the incoming mail of that box that had the big a3 oh my gosh i love it so much so i'm going to be showing that in a video really soon but i love the way that she did this i love the black picking through i love um the distressed oxides i was trying to think what that was distressed oxides the acrylic the embellishments this one says in my spirit alive so she used washi tape so oh make my voice strong and my spirit alive. I love the flower sticker. I love the little 
uh, turquoise jewels that you have on there. The beautiful Distress Oxide colors in the background. Um, I'm assuming the black is the acrylic paint, which I love that. I love the nice bold black up against the light oxides. That is just so pretty. So they all say, uh, oh, make my voice strong and my spirit alive, which I just love that saying. So I love the way that she did this, uh, this little design. I'm assuming you did that through a stencil, maybe. So pretty. Again, that, that nice bold black against these really pretty di distressed oxides. These are gorgeous, friend. And then, of course, the flower stickers. She sent me some of these flower stickers. I'm going to have to show you guys that happy mail. Super, super, super sweet friend. Actually, I'm going to show you guys one more because I do have one more out to show you. Uh, this came from my dear friend. I showed this on Instagram. This came from Annika Reinemann. She is an artist out of California. Um, I showed it in my stories, I believe, but you guys can get a better look at it here. It is a really nice, thick, um, like a mixed media board canvas. She's got some book corners around it. I love what she put on there. Thank you for all the small things you do and for your big heart. You are so very welcome, friend. This, I said it in that video, this will have a special place in my studio forever. Like, I will cherish this absolutely forever. I love the butterfly. I love the embellishment that you did on top of the butterfly. I love the modeling paste you did through the stencils, the die cuts. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And actually, her August ATCs are very similar to this, just in a smaller form. So the canvas actually has a lot more detail, but her August ATCs are this same color scheme and same theme. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that she did the eyelets. So these are her... Uh, ATCs that she submitted for June. So the ones for August actually match this, but I just couldn't resist showing you guys this again because I have it sitting on my desk right now. I'm going to be hanging it up in my studio, but right now I have it sitting right here on my art desk. So I love it so much. And then she made these super, super cute, um, I'm going to take one out. She actually had these other three packaged so they weren't double um, so they weren't so thick. I just put them that way so they wouldn't get damaged. These are titled Bugs, and they are from Annika Reinemann. She is an artist from California. You can find her at Anna Kicken. I love the back stamp that she used um, on these, and these are just so cute. Like, she is crazy, crazy talented. I love how she did these bug die cuts. Um, I love the crackle paste that she used. I love how she, like to me, these are like swatches, paint swatches in the back. That's what I thought of them as. And I just think that is just gorgeous. This one says, make it count. Do your best with the ladybug. Best day ever. I love, speaking of the color swatches in the back, I love the colors that she chose for each one. Like these colors together look so, so good. This one says, you are enough, just breathe and be amazed. So these die cuts, like seriously, these are so, so cool. But it's the way that you incorporated them, uh, the way that you painted them, embossed them, put the glitter, and the way you incorporated them into the background that really, really made these stand out. Like the die cuts alone are amazing and the background are amazing, but when you combine it all together, like seriously, friend, you are crazy, crazy talented. Like I say that all the time, but I am just amazed by your talent. I love the little swatch. I love doing swatches. I love the black paint spatters, love the crackle paste. So the bug ATCs from Annika Reinemann, along with the gorgeous gift she sent me, uh, you can find her on Instagram at Anna Kicken. So that was a super long video. You guys feel free to uh, speed it up, take it in steps, pause it, come back, however you need to do. But I just wanted to take that time to spotlight each and every single one of you, point out all the little things because 
you guys put so much into it, I want to be sure and point it out. So it does take time creating these videos, but to me, it's important to be able to show these. And I just want to show my appreciation to all of you in this group. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video. That helps me out a lot. Uh, I would love to hear in the comments what your favorite ATCs are. If I described yours different or how you made it or if I asked you a question, I love to read the comments. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back very soon with Sneak Peek Part 4. As always, happy crafting, friends.